friends in this video we are going to learn about AWS global infrastructure and this is the very important tutorial which will be useful for your examinations and also the understanding of AWS so if you want to know full details about AWS global infrastructure you just navigate to this URL uh, I will keep this URL in description also it is uh, it's like aws.amazon slash about aws slash global infrastructure or you can directly go to google.co.in and directly type uh, a glo aws global infrastructure then you are you can select this particular URL so let us see what is uh, uh, aws region so aws region is nothing but a geographical locations at present we have uh, 18 uh, regions uh, where aws is serving to uh, their end customers so each region is having uh, two or more availability zones so availability zones are nothing but a data centers so a grouping of aws resource located in a specific geographical location is called an region so which means that for a particular region uh, there are certain uh, aws services which you are going to operate and uh, for best overview i can tell that some services are not there in india but they are available in uh, north virginia so if you want to uh, fulfill enjoy the aws means you can go for north virginia where every aws service is available so this point is very clear that uh, some sort of uh, AWS services are not available in particular locations. So uh, I hope you understand what is region. So region is nothing but a geographical area where they are going to serve their customers uh, from there. So each, uh, each region have uh, two or more availability zones. So let us have an overview of regions. So this is the global infrastructure. Uh, the orange one are called as a regions. So you can see that uh, in India we have uh, two regions. Uh, I mean uh, two regions. Uh, one is at uh, Mumbai. The other one is at Chennai. So uh, basically we will see a main center in Mumbai. Uh, like that in Australia it was there. In UK it was there. I mean in London everywhere it is there. So this is the global uh, infrastructure of AWS. And in region, as I told that there are availability zones. So the availability zones are nothing but uh, physical data centers. So physical data centers are called availability zones and they are isolated to each other, which means that every availability zone is independent of other, but they have a backup of one availability zone in others. So it is designed because of highly availability. So they are isolated to each other, a multi, uh, it means that multi availability zones in each, re each region provide redundancy for AWS regions in that region, which means that uh, your wait time will be less when you have a multiple availability zones, your availability of your AWS resource will be very high. So we have one more called edge locations, edge locations are nothing but a content delivery network endpoints for CloudFront, which means that if I have a bucket in London, uh, let us see with a graph. See, I am in London, uh, I am accessing it from uh, India, per suppose. So uh, when uh, it will take some time to uh, hit uh, uh, London uh, server. So for that AWS come up with an edge locations which you are seeing in a red color. So what these edge locations will do is, so when I request for some S3 bucket uh, URL, so it will check whether it is there in edge locations, which means that it's a cache location so where every content is cached and stored. So it will check whether it is there in that particular available, uh, I mean edge location. If it is not found in that edge locations, it will directly go to uh, London and there the content is cached and stored in the edge location. So when a second user is trying to access that content for for that, uh, it, it will not go to London server and there from it will get, it will directly get from an edge locations. So this is how uh, the edge locations uh, work. So there are may, more edge locations in that region. So it is very important to know about what is region, what is availability zone and what is edge locations. Once again, I am repeating. So region is nothing but uh, it is a geographical location 
where AWS is serving uh, their services to a end users. So availability zone is nothing but it is a physical data center which is inside uh, which are inside regions. So edge locations are nothing but a content delivery network which will make your content delivery as soon as possible to you. So let's have a user navigation in portal, I mean uh, the console. So this is the AWS global infrastructure. So here you are seeing that there are 18 regions and one local region. So if you see the global infrastructure, they will uh, give clear, clear cut details about uh, each and every uh, region. So these are the regions. So in US, you have uh, US East, US West, uh, uh, Asian public, mm, like that. Uh, so they are planning for new regions which are upcoming. So like this, they had listed all those details here. So in North America, they had listed how many are there uh, in South America, how many are there. So like this, you will find all the details. See in North, uh, in North Virginia, you have uh, around six availability zones. So all these uh, details are given very clearly in the URL, whatever I said. So in uh, Asia Pacific, we have all these details. So as I told that in India, we have a region in Mumbai. It has uh, two availability zones, which are launched in 2016. So like that, you will find all those details here. If you want to more have a more uh, experience of these things, you just navigate to console. You just click on EC2 instance. So once EC2 instance came, you just click on launch instance. You just click on, uh, this is the free tier EMI. So you can click that. This is the instance type. So the T2 micro is the free thing. So here you will see that, uh, see, since I am in North Virginia, uh, as I told, there are six availability zones. So you can find that all those six availability zones over here. So this is how uh, the region will vary. And most of you uh, has a point that uh, if you launch an EC2 instance in one region, so you cannot find it in other region. So it's like a, you are uh, keeping your content in that particular uh, geographical location. So if you are navigate to Mumbai, you may not find that uh, uh, content in uh, what you launched in North Virginia. So this is how uh, the uh, regions and uh, availability zones are working. Oh, 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 oh,